Since the police had yet to arrive, Ava decided to take action. He yanked an air conditioner unit from a kitchen window just to the right of the door. Its weight in David's outstretched arms pulled him over just as a fireball shot out over his head. Heavy smoke rolled out in two wide columns of white and brown, rising in thick plumes until the swift breeze whisked the heavy smoke away. David ripped a small piece of metal from the screen in the window and used it to break out the glass in the door. Reaching in with his gloved hand, he couldn't feel the lock. So he removed a winter glove and reached in again and unlocked the deadbolt. The hot brass melting the prints from the tip of his middle finger. Scrambling, David opened the door and took two impossible steps inside before dropping to his knees. A sudden crackling amplified and beyond the thick, heavy gray, black smoke, David could see red flames, embers, and a bright glow ahead. A mesmerizing, brilliant deep red dome, just as another fireball came right at him, singeing his hair and eyebrows, sending him stumbling backward out of the house. The gas dial whined and spun out of control. In the old house by the tracks, suddenly engulfed by a rapid, intense blaze, bellowed and moaned. I'm Corey Zimmerman, and this is Spoon River Gothic.